Hello everybody, my name is Tamaria, and we are just like 15 minutes away from the end of the winter event. And we are going to get something really cool. We are going to be getting a trading hub. I'm really excited. I've also heard that they're doing something to Wild Island and Roleplay Island as well. So I really can't wait to check that out and show you guys everything. Before we really get into the video, I'd also really like to say thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. We actually just hit it like two hours ago when I was live. Um, I just ended stream, so I'm still set up from title trivia on stream. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much. It's been an honor doing this. I love making videos for you guys, and I'm, I'm just so glad that you enjoy my content. I work really hard, and it makes me so happy to know that you guys actually really like it. Thank you. The update is here! Trading Hub and Wild Island, January 12th, 2024. The Trading Hub has been added to the game. You can get there by talking to the boat captain. You can use the Trading Hub to find other traders to hang out and trade with. Wild Island has been redesigned and is no longer attached to Roleplay Island by bridges. Roleplay Island and Wild Island now exist in a dedicated server, meaning when you go there, the island will be full of fellow roleplayers. The winter and holiday events have come to an end. Upgraded chat and bubble chat systems. Additionally, you will now hear a subtle pop sound when somebody nearby sends a message. I'm curious. Oh. Hang on. Pop. Oh, my name is Rainbow, though. Look at that. <laughs> what does Rainbow mean? They actually just spoke about this bug. I can't move. Um, so I'm gonna try to reset to get closer to William so we can travel. <laughs> Fruella, my lovely girl. Let's sail. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Um, we're gonna go to the trading hub first. <laughs> this is so cool. We're here. They did update the chat. I can't move it anymore. <laughs> they did update the chat. The text is really small, so I think I would love a way to... Um, I, I would really love a way to just make that larger, as I, I do have some issues with eyesight, and so I don't, I, it takes me a little bit longer to read this. Um, but oh my god, look how pretty this is. We've got Hogan here with all his fancy little horses. Got these lovely little plants. I am in a private server because I just wanted to sort of look around. God, I think this is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We've got the update sign over here. Oh, that is amazing. What does it say the next update is? Oh, <laughs> it just, it says this one. This is so cute. The horseshoes on the wall, the hay everywhere. This is- I think this is really well done. I've- I know I've said this about quite a few things, actually. But this highly does remind me of Wizard 101. Um, I'd say Avalon, to be exact. I don't remember if that's how you're supposed to say that. Um, but it reminds me greatly of Avalon from Wizard 101, if any of you guys play that. It's so pretty. There's a little training area here. If I remember correctly, they said that you don't get training receipts over here. Uh, is that due to a... No, stamina still goes down. Okay. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> I could see myself spending a lot of time here. I am... I do a lot of trading when I feel like it, so I could see myself being here pretty often. It's absolutely beautiful, and I would come here just to take screenshots of my horses. Oh, look at this. Look at the water. <laughs> Looking down onto the water is so beautiful. I might have a surprise for you guys at the end of this video, by the way, that I think you'd be interested in seeing. The pond? <laughs> it's so pretty! We've got all the typical NPCs here. We've got Steven. We've got Ho uh, Larry. Sorry, Hogan's downstairs. <laughs> We've got both Abby and Sweetie. We've got Indiana here as well. I believe we have access to private islands here too. Ooh, the statue. 
Okay, next I think I would like to go to Wild Island. <laughs> Just to see how that looks at the moment. We're here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is huge. Oh man, it doesn't beat the trading hub. Um, and that's just because I know I'm going to be spending more time at the trading hub. But this is stunning. Ooh, let's go to the little bridge over here. Ooh. Look at that. Look at the little town. Another giant pond. I would love to be able to have those bridges as island decor. Oh. We've got a little circle over here. What if I put in obsidian and two flowers? There, but nothing else interesting happens. Oh, is this like the present machine? Hang on, I'm gonna put in one hay some, and two flowers. <laughs> oh, what does this do? Oh, it teleports you. Oh my gosh! Does it- does it do anything else? It's like, that one teleported me. Let's go with... Two, three flowers. This one's red. Does it just teleport? Oh yeah, I think that's all it does. Look at this waterfall! Oh, that's so pretty! Yeah, as I said, I can hardly wait to bring my horses here just to take pictures with them. Just to ride them around with their little carts and carriages. <laughs> it's a really good place to just unwind if you don't really want to do anything. I'm not a role player, but I could see myself being here for video intros and such like that. That is a cave. How do I get in there? I think I found a way up. I'm hoping it lets me into that cave. We just gotta get right on top of this. I can't imagine where the cave entrance would be. Here's another fairy ring. I don't know what the fairy rings do. As far as I know, they are teleporters. <laughs> I'm not going to 100% um, like present them as such, but I, I think they are mostly just teleporters. Oh yeah, there is definitely an easier way in there. But you know what? I'm not about easy. <laughs> We're just gonna shimmy down. And, uh, hope we can get in. Which we probably can, knowing my expertise and skill. Please? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> my expertise and skill. I've realized why it's named Moon Hill. This is where you get the moon auras. Oh, I meant to hit dance. Is it too late? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> this is the hill where you're going to get the moon auras. That is... I'm so glad they kept that. These flowers are huge! Stable Island is also currently still accessible from all servers, so we can go to our island at any time from any server. So whether we're on Roleplay Island, Wild Island, or whatever, we can always go to our private islands. It does look like the only major change to trading is that to access this island you do need to be level 15. Whereas to trade, it was level 10. I'm not sure if they upped the trading requirement level or just this. You can still trade on almost any island. Well, literally any island. <laughs> uh, you do not have to be here to trade. I just think this is a cute addition for people who really want to trade with others. You've got like a little trading experience thing above your name. I'm not really sure what that does. I'll have to figure it out later, but I think this is super cute. This is a very good way to demonstrate that private servers will still be functional. <laughs> As I am in my private server, and I am teleporting between servers, and I am still not in servers with other people. Private servers will still remain private when the world update, like the world overhaul, does eventually come, and this is a really good way to show that off. It looks like in the future we will have the ability to look up our recent trades and kind of see what we, we traded, like our trade history. I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> and it reminds me of games like Adopt Me and Royal High that have done the same. 
I think it's a great idea. I can't wait to see it when or if they eventually do it. If you've made it this far, you've made it to the end of the video, but don't click off yet. I have something very important to say. When I hit 5k, I did a 24 hour stream. Towards the end of this 24 hour stream, the, developer, the developers of Wild Horse Islands came into my chat, congratulated me on 6k, which I hit that night, and told me to check my DMs on Discord. Since then, which is almost a month ago since then, I have something I think you guys would like to see, and you're going to be able to get your own right when I tell you. <laughs> As many of you guys know, my main horse is named Trident. And, you know, she's named after both the weapon and the gum. <laughs> However, only one of those things is copyrighted. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to tell you what code to use to get your very own... Bum, ba, na, na, very own trident. Look, she's got her own trident! <laughs> the code you're going to use, you're going to come up to this, hit redeem code, and type in trident with a little dash trident <laughs> and that is going to give you this wonderful little accessory here named after my girl one more time you come up to your coin button and you select redeem code you type in trident's trident spelled t-r-i-d-e-n-t-s dash t-r-i-d-e-n-t thank you guys so much i <laughs> I absolutely love this. Thank you, Trick. Thank you to all of the, de the developers, actually. You've made a wonderful game, and I'm happy to be making content for it. And to my viewers, thank you guys so much for 7k. I hope to still have you here when I make it to 10k or higher. Good morning for now, guys.